All right, you guys, I'm black. Video number three. <laughs> it's your girl, Elysia, a.k.a. making it look easy. I wonder if I'm going to lose my voice by the end of all these 10 videos I'm trying to do today. But uh, this video is pros and cons of having braces. Okay, so there's no number one and number two because, like, everybody number one and number two would be different. But... A pro of having braces is the looks okay for some reason people like it when you have braces now you the you well I guess it's a con you would have some haters they'd be like oh my gosh you too old for braces oh my gosh you should have got Invisalign oh my gosh mind your business how about you get some braces too you know what I'm saying but you know don't say that to people like they're not worth your energy they're not worth your energy trust me at least you're getting your teeth fixed that's all that matters so <clears throat> You get compliments a lot. Oh my gosh, your race is so cute. Da da da. Uh, la, 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 you know? The colors, you can switch up the colors, do your favorite color. Like, you know, someone be like, oh, what's my favorite color? And, and they don't see your braces and just, they see the color of your braces and don't know that's your favorite color. Like, it's kind of like pointless. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, can you not see? But I switch it up a lot. What color I got in my mouth? I think I had burgundy yeah this is the stretchy wire so it's not like on any every individual bracket i'm looking at a breath guys because this is my third video i'm trying to do 10 in one day <clears throat> try so yeah yeah it's my birthday by the way so i'm trying to do messages at the same time so yeah what i was saying a pro is looks okay a lot of times Sometimes that uh, guys be trying to hit on girls and like, ooh with them braces on da 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 da. It's so, like you know, you be like, ha, 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 but you know at the same time you know girls we just be okay bye <laughs> on that girl. But yeah, braces look nice. You can change up the colors to your favorite color. You can switch it up. I know some some orthodontists they do like different colors. Like you can do the whole Jamaican color, the reggae color, any color like just I I know one time I did pink and green, pink and green and or orange and green it was okay um the colors i really like to do is just black silver silver is good is it silver silver make sure you say silver it's like the color of the braces if you just say silver or the color of the braces just because they don't understand so because there's there's actually a silver color and it's actually clear you don't want clear so to all those people who eat curry anything you don't want clear you don't want a color this is the cons this is the cons too you don't want you can't eat curry chicken as much if you especially if you get the color clear and i think like bright colors some greens too some greens some light light green i think yellow as well because i think yellow in the change yeah so yellow i think light blue anything light if you eat curry anything curry chicken anything curry goat whatever just know your brace is gonna turn a little greenish or it's gonna be decolored like I had pink also and it was like it just didn't look right and like sometimes I feel like my rubber bands don't look right and then I don't feel right it's like when you get your hair done so yeah so just know that that if, if you love eating curry anything stick to like dark colors so you know I, I'm Jamaican whatever I'll eat a lot of curry chicken my mom will make a lot of curry stuff so I'll definitely get black silver dark purple dark blue you know yeah that's pretty much it sometimes i'll be spontaneous and pick a bright color burgundy i really like i wear burgundy like three times four times like it's probably my fourth or fifth time probably more than that because i had these braces in for three years okay so another a con for braces another con for braces would be flossing not only flossing though, because for me, my teeth, my gums are at, are actually allergic to the brackets. The whole metal, the, the, like the whole braces in my mouth, doesn't agree with my gums. Like immediately, my gums blew up. 
so I have to stay on them like flossing daily please floss if you never floss please floss if you never floss before now is the time to floss if you are getting braces <laughs> floss I'm telling you because your gums will blow up to a point they will hurt I'm telling you like some of them you can see like some lines go into my like into my braces but that's because like I'm allergic to it as well but um because my gums never used to come low into my teeth like that but because like I'm allergic and also flossing I didn't really I flossed but I didn't go in depth with flossing and here's the difference <laughs> I might as well do what you need and not need what you need when you get braces is a water flosser this one was at Walmart I cracked it a little bit so you know it's not the best right now it's not at its best and that's on low what if I pour it at the camera what's going on Y'all seen that, right? Don't tell my mom about that. Anyways, so yeah, I'll have it on low. So get yourself a water flosser. I think that was like $40 to $50 at Walmart. Get it. I got one before and it's just... I don't know if I lost a charger or it stopped working so well. So this one is really good. This is a Con... Is it Con Air? No. <laughs> water pick. Water pick water flosser. Please get that. Please get it. Because if you use the string, the string sometimes when you're going in there, you're cutting your gums. Okay? Remember, you, got, you just got to go in and out. And sometimes with the braces, you can't like... They give you these little blue things that you could put the string in and put it to your teeth. But like sometimes it's, it's too tedious that you don't really feel like doing it. That's, that's what happened to me. So, some parts I was just like, okay. Okay, I'm not going to fight with that one. You know what I'm saying? But with the water floss, you get the whole teeth you get the, all of it so the whole tooth whatever so I recommend the water flosser so a big con is well it's a con or a pro because you need to be flossing anyway now like I just believe in flossing like I wasn't such a big like I need to floss like it was like not wash but kill everything now it's like well I did floss on my back teeth but I didn't go through like the small ones I'm like I'm like what bye but like braces open my mind up to flossing like crazy like floss 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 okay i'm not saying go crazy with it like after every well after every meal i do floss unless i'm like out and about if i'm on the road of course i'm not gonna have this in my bag like because i don't even walk around with a bag and stuff like that unless it's in my wallet but like it's too big i know there's like small ones they have like little things that go inside but they don't do enough like the little sticking because they're the braces you can't stick those little ones that I think uh, y'all know what I'm talking about like it has a string and it's just a long stick toothpick thing with a string yeah I think y'all should know it and it's like you go like put in pull out pull in put out pull in pull out with just you could just do it with one hand you can't do this with the braces if you notice that the wires here you can't go through it to get to the gums and stuff like that you want to at least get close to the gum in between the teeth because like stuff gonna get stuck in there so stuff you don't even see especially like on the bottom these right here you will find I'm telling you I'll be like how does food even get in these small areas they do so be mindful um another thing another thing if they said that they are gonna tighten your wires that day because there are there's always gonna be a new wire sometimes not gonna be as tight as before <laughs> but if they say it's gonna be tight just know it's gonna be tight get soup buy soup make sure you buy soup be prepared okay I don't recommend ramen I'm sorry guys I know dude I guess it's gonna be a do's and don't I don't recommend do's and don'ts slash pros and cons I don't recommend ramen when you have braces because that just you start to notice your teeth color okay because especially with certain rubber band colors like when you have like a darker color or even a brighter color because you know the color pops out from your mouth unless you're getting like the the silver either way with braces your your teeth gonna pop people gonna see your teeth you know what I'm saying they're gonna see the braces too but they're gonna see the teeth and especially for me I feel like when I ate ramen noodles because you know ramen noodles is that it's that college food right there so we you know when you don't want to search for anything to eat you know you can just boil some noodles 
let me make sure I watch the time. Yeah. So yeah, it'll stain your teeth. Coffee stains your teeth. If you have a dentist, uh, orthodontist appointment coming up, a braces appointment coming up, do not drink coffee before going because even though coffee tastes good and keeps your energy going, this is for the college students or whoever want to get braces that on the go, who needs coffee to keep them pumping, don't do it before your braces appointment because coffee breath is not the best breath. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's not because like I spoke, I didn't recognize what people were saying until I spoke to someone who had coffee breath. And I'm like, Lord Jesus, you know what I'm saying? So it's just don't drink coffee, drink tea. If you go talk to somebody face, make sure you eat a mint. Okay. Just, just overall, you just, you learn a lot of things about your tea when you have braces. Um, when they take your wires off, like, when they're going to change, like, they take it off to put on a new wire or put on, sometimes they keep the same wire, and they put it on, they're going to, before they put on the rubber bands or, or even put the wire back in, because the dentist comes actually, every time you get a checkup, well, every time you go to get your braces tightened, it's like a checkup, whatever, they take the wires out before the doctor sees you and say, hey, just put this wire in and this rubber band in. Make sure you go and brush your teeth. I this one of the girl that worked there she was like listen like I had braces you want to brush because the things that bothering you sometimes your teeth is throbbing, throbbing or like your gum will feel extra sensitive because there's stuff wedged in there that you couldn't get through the braces even with the water flosser you couldn't get so sometimes it's like stringy food or something like that like you know mango seeds and stuff like that so what you want to do is make sure they'll tell you they have toothbrushes at the orthodontist and be like can I brush my teeth before you put the wires in sure go brush your teeth brush it real good when you brush I end up getting the automatic by the way because before I had a regular toothbrush it doesn't matter but for me I like I like the automatic plus it was like what $15 on Amazon they was having a sale so I was like oh my gosh like let me bless myself so yeah and this is very well. I don't know if you guys want me to drop like the items, where to get them, and the prices, like where to get them and whatever. It scratches on it. Just drop in the comments. Oh, this is you have to get to the charger, but it lasts very long because I can go like weeks, months. Well, week, a month, the most if you charge it good. This I think three months, the most. Like this is this is really worth the money. And it's, I know I'm not doing a unboxing right now. It's not a makeup people be. <laughs> I'm not doing the unboxing right now, but just letting you guys know. If you want the items, just tell me in the comments later. Alicia, what did you buy? I want it. Da -da -da -da. I'll drop it, whatever, in the description. But let me know, because if I don't have to, I'm not. So, yeah. So, you learn with braces what you should do when you brush. I have it on sensitive, because I do have sensitive teeth. And try to get the sensitive toothpaste as well. It doesn't really matter, but you'll notice after a while your, your gums might get irritated because some people, you don't want to go like this. It's not like how you regular brush your teeth before you have braces. You actually got to, if you really want to do a good cleaning, get above the braces and get under the braces, okay? And then when you get under, under and under both sides, you want to do each individual race. Okay, you like, Lisa, you do so much. You will see, gingivitis will get you. Gingivitis. You don't want to get it. I'm telling you, it hurts. At one point, I'm like, yeah, I need to cut these gums off. And it was like, no, because you got you to floss, da 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 da. And I'm like, I'm flossing. <laughs> but yeah, definitely recommend the water flosser and a toothbrush. This is good because it keeps moving. It's not like you don't have to end up doing this, but either way, it's fine. I feel like if you had a regular toothbrush, it's good. You know, get the back, whatever. So, for, brush over under. What I usually do is I will floss first. And sometimes, like where you put the water in, right here, I'll put water in mouthwash. Okay, so I'm making sure the mouthwash that kills gingivitis goes in between the teeth. And from there, I'll brush. Cause, you know whatever I miss the brush is going through so yeah sometimes I'll <coughs> switch it up it depends on what I eat now do not eat as much as I like steak and beef beef you know what I'm saying not beef as in burger I'm talking about the, the beef as in steak 
or what's that thing called? I'm just gonna say beef, just strong beef, real beef. Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna eat that, just know that <laughs> it's gonna be hard, first of all, because it gets in between your teeth. You gotta stay there with the water philosopher for a good little minute, like at the at the back to you know what I'm saying and even they're hiding between the small ones like make sure you floss really really good okay I'm not saying don't eat the steak okay just try to eat it like medium rare or something like that I don't know but yeah it will get stuck in your teeth another don't you're not allowed I mean they said not to chew gum I recommend not chewing gum but sometimes you know someone have if I feel for it, I'm like, okay, let me get a piece of gum. But I try to avoid gum the best, most that I can. But gum actually sticks onto the braces, and that's harder to come out. Like, it sticks in between, like, even this rolly thing I have here. It's another thing they put on the, the um, braces. It sticks to, it just sticks to different areas. Like, it gets stuck in small places, and, like, the braces people will see it like you know sometimes they'll be like oh my gosh like you know what I'm saying so don't don't do it try to avoid gum try to avoid gum there's mints okay mints I'm <laughs> I used to chew gum all the time like I was the gum girl like I'll take out the gum and everybody hey girl Alicia da, 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 let me get a gum da, 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 da. I had gum I'm telling you they knew I had gum Lisa can I get a piece of gum oh my god I had gum I became a mint person I'm telling you and you want to have a mint because unless even though you floss 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 sometimes when you're outside this is also don't when you're outside and you you're about like at college or something you not you don't have your floss with you you have your floss but it's just not doing the best just know when you eat food will get stuck in your mouth so i recommend having mints and try the best of your ability because there's been times i was at school and after i eat my friends don't notice it but like i'll go to the bathroom like move the water around sit it out because it'll get oh my gosh that's a con when you eat food gets stuck in your braces oh my gosh i think I, sometimes i talk to you guys i'd be like this you know like or i'm like yeah so you know blah, blah. because i as i'm sitting around the table you know i'm showing all my braces yeah i got braces yeah. Let me see it. congratulations I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know i don't know what people were saying but um when it came around to dinner time, <coughs> and it was a day that my mom decided to make some. I don't know if it was um, curry chicken or what, or brown stew chicken. It was something like that. No, it was. I think it was fried. Was it? I think it was just some type of chicken, and it was like dumpling. I think we had dumpling or something. Anything that requires you to bite. I think I. I, I even try to eat into a cookie. Not soft bait, just a regular chewy cookie. I'd even feel my teeth touching the cookie. Okay? When I say my whole mouth felt, I don't even know how to explain the pain, but my whole mouth was like, it's like, oh my gosh, it's like when your foot is dead. I don't know. It's not, I, when all the blood just leaves from your foot and you're like, is it still there? Like that's how I felt with my t with my teeth when I got it tightened. Like I tried to eat, and I was like, "Mom, I cannot eat." And she was like, "Lisa," and I was like, "I cannot eat." <laughs> and I didn't eat. I was so scared to eat. I haven't. I didn't eat for like three days after I got my braces. I still ate, but this is what I had to do. The first day, by the end of the night, I was like, "Yo, I'm not trying to eat anything, not even a sandwich right now," because I was in so much pain, and I was so tempted. Cause they told me too. They was like. If you want to just get some make sure you get some painkillers and I'm like how no one said anything about the pain being this like extreme so yeah the pain was the pain was serious so what I ended up doing is I went to I think it was Winn-Dixie or, or Walmart one of them and I went and got soup Campbell soup I never had Campbell soup a day in my life until I got braces I'm telling you right now I never had Campbell soup I only know my mom is Jamaican slash Venezuelan, my dad's Jamaican, Irish Jamaican. And I only thought to just get the, when they make soup. I never really drank American soup before. I'm just being honest. So I was drinking everything from clam chowder to broccoli. There's so much soup, like it's ridiculous. Steak and cheese. I'm like, what's that? I'm like, 
you know, chicken noodle soup, tomato. I ain't, I ain't messing around with tomato soup. I heard the tomato soup was good, but I just like I thought that's with grilled cheese, so I didn't really take it serious. Um, cheddar soup, cheese soup. It was what is a monarch cheese soup? There was like there was just all type of soup, vegetable soup. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy. And crackers. Put the crackers in the soup. It's something. Then we eat the cracker when it's hard. I'm telling you, like, you're like, Alicia, uh uh. I'm telling you, the pain is serious the first time. Like, you're not expecting it. It catch you off guard because you're like, I thought this was gonna, not going to hurt me so much, but it was, the pain was crazy. At one point, I caught myself crying a little bit and I was like, Mom, I don't think I want braces anymore. And she's like, Alicia, you already paid the money and no, no, no. Just go, just take a, take a sleep, drink some tea. You know, Jamaicans be like, drink some tea, like tea from the salt, everything. But anyways, I drank tea anyways, um, because I just felt like there was something in tea that probably could help me this time. But I was in so much pain. Sometimes it's like a mental thing, you know, the tea gonna help me. But whatever, I'm not gonna throw shade on that. But, yeah. So, braces at first, like, I'm just telling you, for the first time, if you get in braces for the first time, that's what the video is gonna be. Just know it's going to be painful at first. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be painful. But it's the goal. Remember the goal. I'm not going to I'm not going to come on here and lie to you and say it's it's not bad. Get it, get it. No. Just know that it's it's something that you use to fix your teeth. Braces is something that you use to fix your teeth. All right, guys. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to do another video of the pros and cons of braces. I know I just told y'all a con. But that is, you know, in anything in life, it's not going to be easy. Okay, if you want something done, if you want to see change, it's not going to be easy. I appreciate my braces. Like I said in the beginning, it was a blessing because it helped my overbite. So that's not all I'm going to do with my braces. I know. Well, after I take my braces off, I know the next thing is removing my silver tube and then I put in the cap on it and then probably some implants God got a blessed first let me tell you something God got a blessed and then ginger vectomy I think that's what it's called so guys make sure you like comment and subscribe if you wanna if you have any questions drop them in the comments I'll let you know okay whatever you need to know about the braces I'll let you know um yeah and what else you guys want to see, please drop in the comments as well. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And then look out for the next video that's coming after this or before this. Who knows? Pros and cons of having braces. Be blessed.